Hi everyone. Welcome to this video on getting started with the Syncfusion Flutter XLSIO library. In this video, you will see how to add the XLSIO library to a Flutter project. You will learn how to create an Excel file and set some text to it. You will also see how to save the file and download the document in mobile, web, and desktop applications. First, open the VS Code editor. You can also use an IDE you prefer such as Android Studio or IntelliJ. This computer was already set up with the Flutter development environment, which allows me to run the application in mobile, web, and desktop devices. Now I can directly create a new Flutter project. Open the command palette and create a new Flutter project. Choose a folder to create the project in. Name the project My Flutter App. VS Code creates the Flutter project for you. Run this application in the Android simulator. You can also use the terminal to run the project. You can see the application with a button widget at the bottom and a text widget at the center. When you click the button, the click count is updated in the text widget. Now, let me show you how to add the XLSIO library in this app and create an Excel file, replacing the text and button widgets. To do so, first, import the Syncfusion Flutter Excel package from the pub.dev website. Open the pub spec YAML file, declare the dependency Syncfusion underscore Flutter underscore XLSIO using the latest version. When you save the file, VS Code runs the command Flutter pub get to download the package. The download is completed now. Next, open the main.dart file. Import the XLSIO library so that you can use it in this file. Let's write the XLSIO related code within the My Homepage State class. Remove the code in the My Homepage State class for better clarity. Now, I will create a button widget that, when clicked, will create an Excel file and open it. Override the build method. Within the build method, return a scaffold widget so that you can set the button widget to its body. For alignment purposes, add the center widget. To the center widget's child, set the elevated button widget. Set a display text and set the onPressed property with a method name, where the Excel file creation code will be implemented. Now, we'll implement the create Excel method. Create a void method, create Excel. Define a workbook type field. This will create a workbook with one worksheet in it. To save as an Excel file, First you need to get the document as bytes, that is, list of int. Then, save the file in Excel format, and then open it. So, define a list of int field by assigning the workbook save as stream method. Now, you can dispose of the workbook to release all the resources used by it. Next, I need to save these bytes as a file with the extension .xlsx. In the pubspec.yaml file, Import the package path underscore provider to get the directory where the Excel file should be stored, and import the package open underscore file which contains the APIs to open the saved Excel file. In the main.dart file, import the package's path provider and open file. In the create Excel method, create a string field to store the path where the Excel file should be kept. Use the get application support directory method to get the path. Define a string field to store the physical path of the file with the extension .xlsx. Use the file class to create a file in the path with the file name. Import the Dart IO package. Then, write the bytes to the file. Now, call the open file class's open method by passing the file path. Save the file. Hot Reload injects the new version of this file into the application in the Android emulator. Click the button, and you can see the generated Excel file with one worksheet. Note that I have already installed an Excel reader application in my emulator. Now, let's add text to this sheet. In the create Excel method, define a field of type worksheet, and use the workbook field to get the first sheet. The zero index of the worksheet's collection holds the first worksheet. Use the sheet field to get the range of cells, and set the text. This will set the text in the A1 cell which is the first cell in the worksheet. Save the file. You need to go back and click the button again to generate a new Excel file. Now, you can see the provided text in the Excel sheet. Next, let me show you how to save the Excel file to the web. Stop the application. To save the document to the web, you need to convert these bytes to base64 and then use an HTML anchor element to click and save the file. So, to access the HTML element, in the pubspec.yaml file, 
import the universal underscore html package. In the main.dart file, import universal underscore html package and show only the anchor element. Import the foundation.dart package and show only the k is web boolean constant. This helps us check whether the application is compiled to run on the web. Import the convert package so that you can convert the bytes to base 64. In the create Excel method, add an if statement and use the k is web boolean constant to check for web compilation and add the other code in the else part. Within the if condition, use the anchor element and pass the href value as a data application octet stream and charset with base64. This way, browsers can understand the file type. Append the bytes after converting them to base64. Now, set the attribute as download and provide a file name. Then call the click method. Now, everything is set. Choose Chrome as the device and run the application. This time the create Excel method will download the Excel file. Click the button. The Excel file is downloaded. Now you can see the Excel file with the provided text in it. Next, let me show you how to save the Excel file in Windows. In Windows, the path information differs from other platforms. So, in the file name field, I check whether the platform is Windows and then provide the path with double backslashes. Change the device to Windows and run the application. Click the button. You can see the Excel file with the provided text in it. That's it. Let me summarize the main points we covered in this video. You saw how to add the Sync Fusion Flutter Excel library to a Flutter project. You learned how to create an Excel file and add text to it. And you learned how to save the Excel file on mobile, web, and Windows platforms. You can download this working example from the GitHub link and documentation link in the video description below. You can also check whether you are eligible for our community license, which gives you a free license key to use our Flutter products. If you found this video useful, click the like button and subscribe to our channel to get notifications about new videos. Thanks for watching.